exactly one month after the 2011 Tour de France. The world's top professional cyclists descended upon the Rocky Mountains for an epic race bringing major professional cycling back to the great state of Colorado. The masses crowded into downtown Aspen for Stage 2 to catch a glimpse of what has been billed as the Queen Stage of the USA Pro Cycling Challenge. Up close access to pro cyclists, vendors, team sponsored cars, and even an electric car on display were all high points to the day's race. But what may have been one of the most exciting events of the day was Solar Energy International's unveiling of the energy bike. Solar Energy International sent a dedicated team to unveil this fine piece of educational machinery, even taking time out of their lunch breaks to wow children and adults alike about solar energy technology and energy efficiency. Uh, this is the new energy cycle, which has been planned for a long time and just completed in the last oh, two days or so um, for SEI and Solar in the Schools, funded by Aspen Ski Co. Grant, which was very, very kind of them. So um, we set it up as kind of a serious lesson in generating electricity and in learning about how much electricity various things might use, but it's also a little bit goofy just for fun. Oh. So we set, we most, for most people, we'll set them first on the incandescent light bulbs so they get a feel for how much energy these energy hogs can actually consume. And if you look right there, you can see how many watts are going into those four light bulbs. A lot. Woo! Yes. That's Hard a lot work. of work. So, then we show people the compact fluorescence. Four compact fluorescence, much easier to light, much easier to maintain. If you look at the wattage, you're looking at something like 60 watts to keep all those alive. And then we show them LEDs, which is a totally new feature and required a lot of electrical manipulation to get it to work. Now, we got four lights lit, nice bright lights, for a grand total of about 10 or 12 watts. So. It's interesting to see the difference on the display there, but it's very, very interesting to feel the difference. And then we even have it set up so when the sun's out, as it is at the moment, you can race against a solar panel, see who can pump up a balloon with a 12 volt air compressor. First, ready, set, go! Diesel Dan Gizzi against an 85 watt solar panel and he kicked the cloud. And now the, the clouds are coming out. Too. I think the clouds were helping me. But I'm winded. <laughs> so so we, we call that a cloud assisted win, I believe, right? <laughs> cloud assisted win. win. Indeed. So that's the new energy cycle. And we look forward to uh, fiddling with it a bit more, but it's a very fun thing to have around and a great lesson for kids and adults. Right. If anybody would like more information about your program, where should they go? Uh, they should go to solarenergy.org, and the uh, K-12 through education outreach program is called Solar in the Schools.